Aren't you good, boys and girls? Oh, you're gonna spin. Okay. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. <laughs> Shake and bake. Good job. Shake and bake. All right, y'all. Good morning. LA Appliance Guy here. Just wanted to give a quick thanks and major appreciation to everybody who liked commented and subscribed in October we made it to 900 before the end of Halloween I didn't think we would make it but y'all did it and y'all are awesome and I really really appreciate it I never would have thought this I couldn't even believe when I hit a hundred I was like a hundred people subscribe what the heck uh, but uh, but yeah, last night it was Halloween. If y'all haven't figured it out, I do videos and then I have to edit them and kind of, you know, what I call editing. I mean, I'm not no professional by any means. I just cut out a little bit of the junk and add stupid things in there. Um, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, last night Halloween was a success. Everybody had fun. And then I got home and I was like, 894 what the heck and then right before i went to bed it was 898 and i was like oh we making it so thank y'all very much i really really appreciate it and november 1k you think we could do it 1000 in november that's gonna be interesting maybe by thanksgiving if i dress up like a turkey and do a video a short like I did yesterday. <laughs> Will we make a thousand? All right, back to the video. Good morning, y'all. LA Appliance Guy here. We got in this Whirlpool and it had a bad hub. How did I know? I could spin the agitator and hear it stripped in there. So, rather than bore y'all with the two days of trying to get the agitator loose, I just skipped through all of that. It pulled the plastic off of the metal. And we are gonna try that new basket sleeve that's supposed to take out the wobble. Uh, we've been using the Benz metal bushings and I still have a lot of those and they work, but I uh, wanted to try this plastic one. Kinda liking it. Let's see how it does. I'll try to remember, but I'll leave a link in the description or in the comments of me fighting one of these for a few days if you really want to see it. <laughs> but I had airbags under it and I drilled and put the puller on top and finally it broke loose from the metal. But I'll try and remember and put the last one that I fought in the description. So it took me two days with the airbags and the puller to finally get the plastic off of the metal. And then I got a new puller to get the metal off and it wouldn't get it. Safety first. Then two of the Phillipses there stripped out on me. So I'll go ahead and try and cut a slice into them to get them with the uh, flathead. But nope, I'm gonna have to break it out of there. And, uh, and then use the vice grips to get each screw out. Pain in the butt this washer's been for the past two days. And long story short, when I got it loose, you could tell that the tub had a bunch of side to side play. And the suspension rod is good. So it, the tub was gonna just get up that wobble in it. So I said, you know what? We got one of these red, uh, sleeves let's give it a try uh, and so far it seems to be doing the job the splines that are left on the shaft of the gear case are pretty rough but I cleaned them up and uh, gonna try one of the plastic hubs might should have put a metal one on there but really this was just a test for the sleeve the best. 
15 sixteenths. Hmm. Now to get the new hub down there, it took a little work in it because uh, the tub is tight now. And more playing with it. Still playing with the drum. Dang, it sucked it right up. Look at that. <laughs> Don't forget your U retaining clip here or you'll be right back into it trying to get the agitator out. No movement. Well, good thing I got another one. Say, I'm pretty impressed. You can see where this wallered out up top. Hmm, that's the old one. Let's try it out. Hardest part of the whole job getting the agitator off. Had to cut it. Even got me a new toy to get those metal hubs off, and it wouldn't even budge it. Had to break it. Go ahead and run a recalibration. All right, let's see if it can balance this stuff. It's tough to balance those big heavy blankets and an odd load like that. Let's see. Balling it up. Gotta love it. If it balances that, it's gonna be definitely gonna be stocked. Alright, we are locked. It's going into rants. Oh, it's going to do its little pee-pee rants. 
<laughs> There's a reason why this tub is sitting out here getting filled up with trash because even the metal bushings wouldn't get it to uh, balance right. New suspension rods, new hub, and the metal bushings. So kind of wonder if one of those red ones would work for it. I have to try another time. Now that's a wonky load, but it looks like it's doing it. Look at that. That's pretty smooth. We are definitely going to have to get some of these for stock. Already got six on order, but we might need a couple of dozen. Final spin. That's pretty smooth with that big blanket in there. It usually always throws it off if there's any movement in that drum. All right, well, I'm sold. That is it, high speed. Not too shabby. Done, done, and spun. Flash code, codes, no codes. Pow. She is done. Like that. Hate to say it, but these might be over with the sleeve. Hmm. All right, so quick truck talk about the sleeve there, the tub bushing, I guess. Really like that. Now, I'm still going to continue to use and, and keep those uh, metal shims for the top, the Benz ones, um, because they're easy. Um, and I think some of the other techs that I've talked to that I let use, uh, they like that. Because I don't know if they, you know, in some instances would want to pull the whole drum to knock that sleeve out. Maybe so, maybe not. But I want to have both of them. Um, and, and in some instances, I've had to use two of the metal shims. The big one just still had a little too much play in it. So I took the little one and popped it down in between that shim and the shaft. And that spread it out. Um, and it worked. So I like both ways. So I think I'm still gonna keep using them both. But me personally, pulling the drum, knocking that shim out, I mean the bushing, the whole plastic bushing is an ideal 100% fix as long as the drum isn't warped. I have had warped drums where they're just been beat so many times that they, nothing will right them. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. I'm gonna continue to try these out, and uh, it's it's by New N E U or something uh, appliance parts. Pretty cool. I like it. Um, and if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe. We might be able to make 1,000 before Thanksgiving. <laughs> y'all have a great day. Okay, so I forgot to do a key word. So if you made it all the way to the end of the video and you want to prove it, let's just go with no more friggin' wobble. No more wobble. <laughs> Y'all have a great day.